guys a nurse in the uk stole hundred thousand pounds from patients under his care guys trust me this is the most horrific thing i have seen in the internet today i have never seen such neither have i had such guys i'll be reading all the details for you from bbc news brian little <laughs> people and welcome back to my channel if you were seeing my face for the very first time in my youtube channel you're welcome my name is violet okonacha i live and i practice in the united kingdom and on this channel i share every juicy information so do me a favor like this video right now so you don't forget share this video with as many that will benefit from it and of course don't forget to subscribe guys if i tell you i'm surprised it is an understatement. I am flagabasted. I've never seen or heard something of such since I was born. Trust me, I've heard lots of things, but something like this. Nurse stole more than 100,000 pounds from a patient under his care. Not 100 pounds, so more than 100,000 pounds from a patient under his care. This is no joke. This is a true story on the 24th of april 2024 a true story i'm going to drop the link in the description box for those who want to read it by themselves i'm only sharing this video solely for educational purposes i'll read this now i'll share it on the screen so you can read with me because usually when i go out and i come back so i always try to catch my breath you get so i don't just come down immediately so I would stay in the car for some time and you know rest before i come down and you know i just saw this and i was so surprised and i felt like sharing do you understand so i'm going to share it on the screen so that you can also see for yourself now i'll read it it said it's from bbc so source bbc news nurse who stole more than hundred thousand pounds from patient jude now kevin ramasta took sorry if i pronounce the name wrongly took more than hundred thousand pounds from vulnerable patients by stealing their cards checks and using their bank details now kevin ramasta abused his position of trust in a way that was nothing short of horrific while working at andy brooks hospital cambridge police said the 30 years old of Penn Road, Cambridge, admitted three counts of theft at Peterborough, sorry if I pronounce this wrongly, I'm not very good with pronunciation, all right, at Peterborough Crown Court and was sentenced to four years and six months behind bars. So that was his punishment for stealing over 100,000 pounds from a patient under his care. Now, a Cambridge University hospital's spoke person said we wholeheartedly apologize to all of those affected by this appalling crime oh ramastar first came to police attention after a bank reported suspicious activity on his accounts the bank claimed 102,000 pounds has been transferred from another man to ramastar at the rate of 1,000 per day for more than three months. Further checks found that Ramasta also opened a bank account in a 76 years old man's name while working in at the Brooks Hospital. The bank said the fingerprints match those used to open Ramasta's own accounts. The elderly man was in hospital and almost oblivious of what was going on around him his family said he was later diagnosed with dementia nothing short of horrific police said other patients at andy brooks hospital also reported thefts this included reports of a bank card and several checks going missing which belonged to a 74 years old woman with Alzheimer's. 
The woman died a week after she was discharged and the missing items were reported by her daughter. Ramasta also tried to cash in one check when he was suspended from work. He forged the elderly woman's signature and spelled her name incorrectly, police said. On the date the check were written, the woman was bed bound and suffering from multiple organ failure. So there was no way the woman would have written that check with all of this going on with her. Police said she was incapable of holding a pen at that time. Ramasta attempted to catch the check three times and use the cards to buy two pounds seventy pence worth of food from a hospital vending machine. Oh my God, this is horrific indeed. He was arrested and interviewed on fourth of May, twenty twenty-two, but initially he denied the allegations leveled against him. You get. A week later, police were contacted about a third victim, an 85 years old woman whose bank accounts, sorry, whose bank cards were stolen from her paws and used. The woman's family described her as extremely vulnerable and lacking mental capacity. Checks by her family revealed her bank card has been used 11 times between 18th april and 26th april to spend 203 pounds 29 pence imagine a victim who was you know who, who was so incapacitated do not understand what was going on in her surrounding use that um, lady's card to withdraw or to buy things from april uh, 18th to April 26 and spent around 203 pounds 29 pence oh my god this is indeed horrific she had been on the same ward as Ramasta's second victim Scott Mark Andrew said sorry if I pronounced that name wrongly Ramasta targeted elderly and vulnerable patients in his care and abused his position of trust as a nurse to steal money in this way is nothing short of horrific. The impact his actions have had on his victims and their family cannot be underestimated. The daughter of Ramasta's third victim said a fate in the hospital and their staff broke in an instant, the detective said. A Cambridge University hospital's spoke person said, we wholeheartedly apologize to all of those affected by this appalling crime. As soon as we were alerted to the concerns, we took all appropriate action to safeguard our patients and work closely with the police throughout the investigation. The safety and care of our patients is always our top priority oh my god this is such a shame this is such a shame and truly horrific i've always said within myself that there are good people everywhere all over the world there are good people everywhere and at the same time there are bad people everywhere so in in any place you meet the good you meet the bad you meet the ugly that's just the truth but the thing is at every point in time we should always do the right thing you know, which we know as nurses, it is against the ethics of our profession. It is against the ethics of our profession. Because honestly, this is really horrific. Guys, I don't know what this world is turning into. Last time, it was a care support worker who had sex with a child he's supposed to be caring after. A child of 14 years old. I don't know what this world is turning about. I don't know what this world is turning into. Now, a nurse who is supposed to be looking after vulnerable patients, rather he takes advantage of them and uses their cards to purchase things, even opening an account in somebody, uh, opening an account using um, uh, forging his age and stuff like that, to the extent of stealing over 100,000 pounds from patients who are supposed to be under his care, meaning he's even taking advantage of them. Because they're supposed to be under your care. But because you see that they are vulnerable, probably because they have dementia and Alzheimer's, and you do this, 
oh my god uh, this is in fact this is nothing short of horrific i myself i'm short of ways i lack ways to say at this moment just let me know what you think in the comment section there's something i just want to say here anything you do that is wrong definitely you'll pay for it someday nothing is needed in this world whatever you are doing if it's good you reap it if you do something bad because you see that people are vulnerable you reap it you reap it nothing is eating and that's why you always have to make sure you walk within the code and ethics of your profession because there's nothing eating on this world whether good or bad if you do good good if you do bad you will pay for it how can you take advantage of vulnerable patients patients under your care Honestly, this is nothing short of horrific. And I pray that God gives us the grace to practice in line with the ethics of our profession. Honestly, I'm short of ways. When I saw this, I was really so tired. And But I share information like this always on my channel just to encourage people. I just came back from the supermarket. And usually when I come down, I usually like, you know, catch my breath, relax before I go over to the kids. And you know, so I'm surprised, honestly. I really pray that God helps every one of us. Honestly, what's going on in this world is something else. Honestly, I can't imagine. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't stop, I'll drop the link in the description box. But please give a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think in the comment section. I'd love to read your comments. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know what to say. Honestly, I'm short of ways. I'll see you <laughs> in another of my juicy videos. Until I see you again, have a beautiful weekend bye guys